Hi everyone, it's me, Sarah. I'm gonna read you a book today um, that sometimes I tell you guys to read when you're in the library because it's one of my favorites. It's Annie Rose is My Little Sister by Shirley Hughes. And you're gonna see why it's one of my favorites soon. I used to read this to my kids when they were little and now that they're big, um, I love suggesting it to other families to read because it's something that you can come back to over and over to maintain comfort, which is especially important right now to find comforting things in your life. So here's one of mine. Annie Rose is my little sister. Annie Rose is my little sister. She likes books a lot and she's always wanting me to look at them with her. She's quite good at playing games. She likes it when I hide under a sheet and pop out at her. Boo! But when I'm really hiding, she can hardly ever find me. One of Annie Rose's favorite toys is her little chest of drawers. She likes opening and shutting each one. She puts all sorts of things inside them. Sometimes she pulls out all the drawers and makes them into beds for her family of mice. The only things I have in my bed when I go to sleep are my bit of blanket and my elephant, Flumbo. He is quite old, nearly as old as me. And Annie Rose, well, she has lots of things in her cot. Early in the morning, I can hear her throwing them out on the floor, one by one, thump, thump, thump. Then, the only thing she has left in there is Buttercup, her lamb. She doesn't often throw her out. Annie Rose always wants to play with my toys. She seems to like them better than her own, which is very annoying. When I want to lay out all my cars and trucks and rail track, I have to do it on the table where she can't get a hold of them. One of our best games, which we play together, is shops. When we have a shop indoors, we set out all the little packets and boxes and plastic bottles with screw tops, which mom has saved for us. And we arrange all sorts of nice things on plates from Annie Rose's tea set. Then I am the shopkeeper, Mr. Lewis Burroughs, and Annie Rose is my helper. Sometimes Annie Rose wants to make her own shop in the back garden. She has leaf plates and sells empty snail shells and daisy heads, but she can't make a daisy chain. Neither can I, only mom can do that. When we go to the seaside, dad and I make huge sandcastles with turrets and tunnels and a moat all around, which fills up with water when the tide comes in. Annie Rose can only make sand pies but they're quite good ones. Annie Rose doesn't like the sea much. She prefers kicking up water in shallow pools, but dad and I like diving into the big rough waves. Annie Rose can be really awful sometimes. She gets into a rage and she lies on the floor and screams and kicks. It is most awful when she does this in a shop. She usually cheers up again after a while. Annie Rose's best friends are Marion and Lily. They play together a lot. Sometimes, not very often, Marion and Lily only want to play with each other and they don't want Annie Rose and that makes her very sad. My best friend is Bernard. When he comes to play at our house, Annie Rose always wants to join in. She laughs and laughs when Bernard pretends to be a prehistoric monster, showing its fierce teeth and making terrible noises. 
any rose loves Bernard. But when Annie Rose cries or wakes up from her nap in a cross mood, I'm the only one who can cheer her up because she's my little sister and I'm her big brother. And we'll go on being that forever. Even until we're grown up. 